Hello and welcome to Reasonable. In today's video, we will find out whether the Arctic sea ice is melting or actually increasing like a lot of people have been claiming in recent years. Most people are and have been under the impression that the Arctic sea ice is melting at a concerning rate due to climate change. However, certain information about growing sea ice has been used by some people to denounce the phenomenon of climate change or more specifically human-caused climate change. Others may just be confused by the mixed messaging around the supposed melting of the sea ice or interpret the data differently. Let's take a look at the data that is available to us. One of the key public sources to get information on Arctic ice is NASA. NASA has been making use of satellites to monitor the Arctic sea ice since 1979. In this image, you can see the Arctic sea ice minimum extent on September 16, 2021. The yellow line indicates the average minimum extent between 1981 and 2010. Sea ice extent is defined as the total area in which ice concentration is at least 15%, and according to NASA, Arctic sea ice reaches its minimum extent each September. The data NASA has collected since the late 70s until 2022 shows that Arctic sea ice minimum extent is now shrinking at a rate of 12.6% per decade, compared to its average minimum extent during the period from 1981 to 2010. In absolute numbers, that's a loss of up to 30,000 square miles per year, almost 100 times the size of New York City. This graph shows the size of the Arctic sea ice each September since satellite observations started in 1979. The monthly value shown is the average of daily observations across the month of September during each year. Basically, since satellite-based measurements began in the late 1970s, Arctic sea ice extent has decreased in virtually all months in all Arctic regions. Furthermore, NASA reports that the ice that survives year-round is thinner and more fragile than it used to be. Old, thick ice made up a third of the Arctic Ocean ice pack at the winter maximum in March 1985. In March 2020, it is less than 5%. And here is a visualization from NASA of how the development of Arctic sea ice looks like between 1979 and 2022. Unfortunately, this visualization was not accompanied by an exact timeline per frame, but a decrease in sea ice throughout the years is clearly visible. Another noteworthy source that makes the case that the Arctic ice is melting is the National Snow and Ice Data Center. The National Snow and Ice Data Center shows this map that indicates where the Arctic ice is in July 2023 and what the median ice edge was between 1981 and 2010. However, the difference in Arctic sea ice extent is poorly visualized in this image. Now that we got the shrinking of Arctic sea ice covered, we will try to find out why some people believe the Arctic ice is actually growing, and if there is any truth to that narrative. This narrative has been repeated by many people online, so let's see if we can find any relevant information that suggests the Arctic sea ice is actually increasing instead of shrinking. When we searched for relevant information, we quickly came across this article from the Daily Skeptic that has been repeated by many people online. The article suggests Arctic ice is not rapidly vanishing, based on data collected by Copernicus, the EU's Earth Observation Program. This was actually fact-checked by Reuters, who amongst others quoted Dan Jones, a physical oceanographer at the University of Cambridge Center for Climate Science. According to Dan Jones, scientists do expect some year-to-year -year variations in Arctic sea ice. That's not a surprise. However, these variations don't change the fact that we've observed a decrease in September sea ice extent of 12.6% per decade since the start of the satellite era in 1979. The writers of The Daily Skeptic responded to this fact check. You can read their response on their website and make up your own mind. Anyway, this article and many similar articles repeated by online figures and publications have reached millions of people worldwide and have had an impact on public perception on this topic. Whether these articles contain correct information or not is a question for another video and must be studied case by case. However, the fact remains that NASA has observed a significant decrease in minimum sea ice extent throughout the years. 
Now let's move on to the next topic. When we look for information on the supposed increase in Arctic sea ice, we also have to take into account information published on the Antarctic sea ice. That is because a lot of people, knowingly or unknowingly, mix these regions up when talking about the decrease or supposed increase in Arctic sea ice. For reference, this is where the Arctic sea ice is. And this is where the Antarctic sea ice is. Many people also refer to these regions as the North Pole and the South Pole. Now let's take a look at another source. The Royal Society, a fellowship of many of the world's most eminent scientists and the oldest scientific academy in continuous existence, states that Arctic sea ice is indeed melting but Antarctic sea ice is not. According to the Royal Society, sea ice extent is affected by winds and ocean currents as well as temperature. Sea ice in the partly enclosed Arctic Ocean seems to be responding directly to global warming, while changes in winds and in the ocean seem to be dominating the patterns of sea ice change in the ocean around Antarctica. Sea ice in the Arctic has decreased dramatically since the late 1970s, particularly in summer and autumn. However, sea ice in the Antarctic showed a slight increase in overall extent from 1979 to 2014, although some areas such as that to the west of the Antarctic Peninsula experienced a decrease. Furthermore, NASA mentions that unlike the Arctic, an ocean basin surrounded by land, the Antarctic is a large continent surrounded by an ocean. Because of this geography, sea ice has more room to expand in the winter, but that ice also stretches into warmer latitudes, leading to more melting in summer. From the start of NASA's satellite observations in 1979 to 2014, total Antarctic sea ice increased by about 1% per decade. Whether the increase was a sign of meaningful change is uncertain because ice extends very considerably from year to year around Antarctica. The climb in sea ice came to an end in 2015, and significant decreases in sea ice around Antarctica started to occur in 2016. There have been small rebounds in recent years, but nowhere near the record high of 2014. In 2023, Antarctic sea ice extent appears to have broken the record low set in 2022 according to the National Snow and Ice Data Center. On the 13th of February 2023, Antarctic sea ice extent fell to 737,000 square miles. This set a new record low, dropping below the previous record of 741,000 square miles set on the 25th of February 2022. So, what can we conclude? Is the Arctic sea ice actually melting? And is the Antarctic sea ice increasing? While there is variation from year to year and from location to location overall, the sea ice in the Arctic is shrinking by a rate of about 12.6% per decade since observations began in 1979. Here's another visualization of how the shrinking of the Arctic sea ice looks like on a longer time frame. The sea ice in Antarctica has actually grown by about 1% per decade between 1979 to 2014, but it is important to notice that this growth has not occurred in recent years and significant decreases in Antarctic sea ice started to occur in 2016. Thanks for watching this video. Let us know what you think of our analysis in the comment section, and make sure to like and subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos and updates.